We are talking some Detroit Lions news. We made a trade last night. Now, I could have made a video last night, but I decided to wait a little bit because it was Halloween. Wanted to take my kid out trick-or-treating and do a little bit more investigating, at least on the player himself. James Houston, could he return in December? We have an update on his injuries. And the Detroit Lions sent Josh McDaniels to the shuttle room. Let's go ahead and begin. Folks, I'm on Twitter X. Go ahead and follow me. Right now, I got 1,904 followers. Let's get to 2,000 followers. So if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on there. I'm putting updates on there, and I do actually respond to stuff. It's a good way to get some new information. And the Detroit Lions has shut Josh McDaniels to the shadow realm. His position is none right now. No one really cares about his age. It seems like the Lions can do this to a lot of teams. Lions beat a team, and then, you know, sometimes it's halfway through the season, and the team goes ahead and fires their head coach. Now, look, I like the firing because I understand what it's like to have a former Patriot as a coach. It sucks. It's terrible. It's the worst. And I remember when they hired Josh McDaniels, I said, why would they do such a thing? Former Patriot. Turn into head coaches never work. He failed over there in Denver, and he failed over there for the Raiders. So, look, I know Raiders fans are pretty happy. They're super excited. And I'm happy that we are the team that sent him away, and we finish him. That's what it's all about, folks. I got a question, though, for you. Should have the Detroit Lions traded for an edge? We did not do it. I know a lot of people are upset about it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Why for yes and N for no. The Detroit Lions did make a trade. We traded for wide receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones. That's who we got here, wide receiver. The Browns got a 2,025 sixth round pick. So basically nothing. Donovan Peoples-Jones, he's 6'2", 208 pounds, obviously from Michigan. A lot of Michigan fans know who he is. Wide receiver, only 24 years old. What's interesting about this trade, I was talking to Rod Detroit two days ago, and we talked about the Lions trading for Donovan Peoples-Jones because he really liked him coming out of Michigan. And I said, man, he would be a good fit here for the Lions after losing Marvin Jones Jr. And sure enough, we get the guy, the player that we were talking about. And what has Donovan Peoples-Jones done so far in his NFL career. He has 117 receptions for 1,837, eight touchdowns, and an average of 15.7. Now, a lot of people are going to point to that he has done absolutely nothing this year on offense for the Browns. And you're right, he hasn't done a whole lot this year. Eight receptions, 97 yards, 12.1 average, zero touchdowns. But let's be 100% honest and fair. The Browns have a lot of issues right now at the quarterback position offensively. They have been kind of a mess. Now, look, could they get better? Well, of course they can, but Watson has been injured. They've had backups in there, and even when Watson is in, he hasn't done a whole lot. I mean, you're seeing videos right now saying it was the worst trade in NFL history because of what's taken place there. So not everything could be blamed simply on the wide receiver. It just can't be. In 2020, he had 304 yards. In 21, he had 597 yards. And last year, 839 yards. He's actually a pretty good wide receiver, in all honesty. What he can do is he can stretch the field. That is something that he's really good at, fast, decent in contested catches. And he's a big, thick body. And I think this is the something that the Lions did not have. A player who is thick, who can take a little bit of a punishment. Now, we got some good wide receivers, absolutely. St. Brown, awesome. Just great. Number one wide receiver, just does everything. Josh Reynolds, he's a little bit bigger for a wide receiver, but I think Donovan Peoples-Jones is bigger and more of a threat as an X. Jamison Williams right now, he's having some issues, right? He's, he catches and drops and catches. I think you can rely on Donovan Peoples-Jones to make a clutch catch. Khalif Raymond, love Khalif. I think everybody loves him, right? 
he is he could do X, he could do it, he could do it all, but he's a little bit of a smaller wide receiver. Donovan Peoples Jones, that thicker guy, the guy that we really don't have, and Antoine Green is a developmental player. So I think the Detroit Lions were smart to get Donovan Peoples Jones. I think that was a good move for the Lions. Look, it's let's not grade this move because the Lions didn't get an edge. Just grade this move off this move only. And I do like the diverse wide receivers now we have on offense. When we lost Marvin Jones Jr., you know, you had issues at depth. I think getting a DPJ is an absolute upgrade over him, and the Lions are going to be able to use him quite a bit. And if there is an injury, we have another guy there that can help out because what if you do lose St. Brown for a game? We were worried that he wouldn't play in this game this against the Raiders. Well, then you would have another receiver there. Do I think this is an indictment on Jamison Williams? No, I don't think it's an indictment on Jamison Williams. I think he, he still needs time, but I think this is more of the fact that you now have d- a diverse wide receiver on the team that can kind of do it all, play slot, X, thick, and more of the Marvin Jones Jr. replacement. And another player if there's an injury. So I really don't think it's something on Jamison Williams. I think it's just expanding the role of this offense, and it's going to help out in the NFL red zone, right? We had issues getting touchdowns. He's a big body. Jared Goff's going to throw it to him. So I got a question for you. Grade this trade right now. A, B, C, D, or F? For me, I'm going to go ahead and give it an A on its alone move. Not because of the trade deadline, because that's a different story. On this move alone, I give it an A. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks. Excited to talk about Prize Picks, the newest sponsor here at Chat Sports. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. And if you're looking to spice up your NFL Sunday, get started with Prize Picks right now. Prize Picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. And if you're looking to have more fun on game day, look no further than Prize Picks. Want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entry for some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week prize picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured for football and basketball games if you have a player who exits the game when the first half and does not return in the second half that player is rebooted prize picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy the three players that i have for sunday is tua getting more than 286.5, Mahomes getting more than 295.5, and Geno Smith getting less than 243.5. So get started with prize picks right now. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. Why is it code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency partner. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters to get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today, and the link will be in the description and comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. Trade deadline, there was a players that myself, many Lions fans, and even media types locally and big media wanted the Lions to address the edge position. I heard it from Mike Valenti, Rico. I've heard it from YouTubers. I've heard it from the big media, Riddick. A lot of people wanted the Detroit Lions to get an edge, myself included. Chase Young goes to the 49ers for a third-round pick. That sucks. I think the Lions could have gotten Am I disappointed? Yes, I am disappointed. Am I going to cry and... Go absolutely no, nuts. No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to do that. We could have got Montez Sweat, but the Bears gave up a second-round pick, early second-round pick. I wasn't willing to get a first-round pick. Not upset about that one. Not upset. Because of what the Bears had to give up, and I'm not willing to give up first-round pick. Because you'd have to jump their second-round pick. We're not going to have a high one, right? So it would have to be a first-round pick. Happy they didn't do that. That would have been a bad trade. You could have got other part of the defense in the secondary. Now, this is my theory after this. This has been a theory. I've been talking about this on air to you guys and videos as well as as live streams. I'm talking about a lot lot off air 
to my friends and people in the back end is C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That's not his name now. He legally changed it, right? Some deuce here. I think he's going to come back before the playoffs. I think he is going to come back. I've seen some cryptic tweets. I've seen, he, obviously, he was at the facility. I have a gut feeling that he's going to come back. Maybe that's the reason why didn't they go ahead and trade for a backup corner because they know when the playoff hits that C.J. Garner johnsons going to be there, and that's going to be a bit big boost for the Detroit Lions. I do think that's what they think because I personally believe that. So would I have liked to get a backup secondary piece? Yeah, I wouldn't have mind. I think Chase Young would have been ideal, but we didn't get him. For a third-round pick, that is a steal. That it, that it is absolutely a steal. Let's continue on here and talk about James Houston. James Houston, could he be the reason why we didn't get an edge rusher? Could he be coming back here soon? Well, I don't really necessarily think that's the reason we didn't get it because James Houston right now, I, I, I love James Houston, but... He's not the prototypical edge rusher. He's more of a linebacker hybrid. But if he does come back soon, that does alleviate some pain here. And this is what Dan Campbell said about James Houston. Yeah, I think so, about coming back in December. We'll see. That's another one. Some of these guys that we've got in IR is just part of the rehab pro process. Well, it was pretty clean. So the rehab to it. The healing should be pretty clean. But there again, if it happens, we're talking about December. So we'll see. So I do believe that James Houston's going to be coming back very soon. Well, not very soon, but in December. And that would be, again, before the playoffs when you need him. So if you do get James Houston and C.J. Gardner-Johnson back, that's big for the Lions defense. And it does help out. Am I bummed, Chase Young? Yes, I am. But got to drink water and drive on. It was a gamble by Brad Holmes. We'll see if the gamble pays off. We'll see. You know, that's really all on him. And uh, he's done a good good job so far. Would I like to see it? Yes. Did we get it? No. Hopefully it works out. Folks, we're going to be dropping videos every single day. Tomorrow's the One Pride podcast. Friday video. No live streaming this Sunday because we got a bye week. I need a rest. You need a rest. Let's sit back, enjoy the games, drinking a beer, whatever, and just enjoy the day. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. With that said, folks, adios.